have a party. Oh. You know, Dino, we really shouldn't <coughs> be doing this. After all, we haven't been invited and curiosity not to meet the trouble. I think so. I think, you know, assuming she's healthy, which I hope she will be, uh, I think she probably runs uh, after the next four years, I would imagine. Hillary's a great friend of mine. Uh, her husband is a great friend of mine. They're fantastic people. And you know the thing, they get a bad knock. She's a very nice woman. People think tough, tough. And I guess she's tough, but she's a very nice woman. And he's a very nice guy. We know all about the smarts and how smart they are. But they are good people. First of all, I know her very well, and I know her husband very well, and I like them both. And they are, uh, you know, just really terrific people. I like them both very much, but I think you'll be, you know, you'll be looking at the record of Hillary Clinton and how did she do as Secretary of State, probably above and beyond everybody else and everything else. I think you're going to have probably George Bush as your next president. He's an excellent guy, an excellent man. He's a friend of mine, and I'm here for that reason. Well, well I wasn't talking about this year, Mr. Trump, but you have said that if you ran for president, you'd win. I think I'd have a very good chance. I mean, I like to win. When I do something, I like to win. I like to, uh, I like to do well, and I think I probably would have a pretty good chance. I was uh, with George Bush today. I listened to George Bush. I listened to what he say, said, and I believe very strongly in what he said. I think he is going to be a great president. I'm here because I'm a guest of Vice President Bush, Mrs. Bush, the Montbachers, and some others. And as an observer? As really an observer, and it's, it's an interesting system, and I wanted to see really how the system works. It's the first time that I've been involved in a convention. I came down, I wanted to see how it works, and it's, it's fine. Uh, how about financing? Now, what can you give to George? You've already contributed to him, haven't you? Well, I contributed to him, and I've helped him a little bit and, and uh, I guess I'll help him a little bit more and I'm not sure that he needs anybody's help. I think he's, so far, I really think he's conducted himself brilliantly. I'm delighted to welcome you all today to this wonderful museum and to the ceremony recognizing Hillary Clinton for her lifelong career in public service. We've had a bit more media interest here than usual for a Liberty Medal event. And of course, there's certainly a lot happening right around, all around the world. But Secretary Clinton is out of office. So am I. I'm not sure what people will expect to, ha to happen here tonight. Hillary and I come from different political parties and we disagree about a few things. But we do agree on the wisdom of the American people. We recognize the commitment of someone who has devoted her life to public service. I want to say thank you to both Secretary Clinton and to President Clinton. Thank you for your service to our country. We are united by love of country and public service. And I bring greetings from the entire Bush family, especially my dad, who also served as chairman. He thanks you. Uh, you've often referred to Bill Clinton, and you talked about his relationship with your father and how it developed, and your mother as well, and he's your brother from another mother. <laughs> what does that make Hillary Clinton to the Bush family? <laughs> My sister-in-law. And I want 
to say a special thank you to Governor Bush and to applaud his commitment to the National Constitution Center. Now, this is not the first time that a Clinton and a Bush have shared this stage. Some of you will remember that in 2006, my husband and Jeb's father were jointly honored for their work on behalf of tsunami victims in Southeast Asia and residents of the Gulf Coast after Katrina. Now, 41 and 42, as they sometimes call each other, are, let's face it, the classic odd couple of American politics. They just had one of their annual play dates up in Kenny Bunkport uh, this past week. <clears throat> Barbara Bush uh, has even started referring to Bill as her adopted son, sometimes as the adopted black sheep son. Um, I don't know how Jeb and, and his siblings feel, but I know Bill loves it because of his great admiration and affection uh, for 41 uh, and all that they have done uh, together. My mother calls me my, my uh, fourth brother. Calls him my fourth brother. Is that right? The black sheep of the family. Dad, Barbara began to refer to me as her black sheep son. You know, the one that strays. There's one in every family. Gets the politics wrong or makes some other mistakes. Uh, you've often referred to Bill Clinton. You talk about his relationship with your father and how it developed, and your mother as well, and he's your brother from another mother. <laughs> what does that make Hillary Clinton to the Bush family? <laughs> My sister-in-law. 